much like Android, much like Windows Mobile. But when you look at the source code, it's written in HTML, JavaScript, and uh, and, wow. and and CSS. So the whole interface is built in these web technologies, and it means that anybody who can build a website in HTML5 can build applications on a mobile phone with that operating system, and can even build custom mobile for, uh, custom interfaces for clients. So if you want to have, for example, a corporate phone with your logo up there and five icons, all you have to do is build a website and put it on the operating system itself, and you're done. Now I can start calling it, and it calls it. And this is all, again, done in HTML. This is not for the end user, this is just a de de debugging tool that you can turn on if, if you want to build for it. So debugging is more or less built in as well, which is pretty sweet. And it does everything else a phone does. So you have your messaging, you have your phones, you have maps, and they're actually really, really responsive. So we also have like a pinch to zoom. Which, uh, which was a bit of a pain to get to know in a browser, in an operating system that we did not control. Uh, we have a gallery for your photos. And that, one, that works really rather snappy as well, so you can actually switch through your photos really quickly this way. Um, we have video, WebM video, open video, uh, full screen, you've got your controls here, you can watch that. And as the whole system is very lightweight, running on the browser and in HTML, the battery life is really, really good as well. So, I mean, this is a demo phone. I have only played with it, but yesterday I had it in my pocket for eight hours and kept showing things to people, and it still had battery life left. And I'm like, try that with my, with my Nexus, it's going to be a different problem. We have a market coming. It's actually open for developers now. You can start putting your applications in. They have to be HTML5 yes, applications, right but they can run on desktop or on mobile phones or wherever. It doesn't matter if it's a proper HTML5 app, it goes in. We won't give you executable Windows or OS X uh, uh, apps in there, but if it's HTML5, you can make money with, with our market. This is Cut the Rope that uh, Microsoft has written for themselves to show how good Internet Explorer 10 is. So actually when you scroll down, because it didn't fit on the screen, you see the IE10 logo. But all we had to do is link to it, because it's written in HTML5. We support HTML5, Microsoft supports HTML5. We can now play Cut the Rope on this phone without having to download it, without having to install it. We can just start actually playing with that system that way and you can feed the frog the candy if you want it. The 3D model in 60, uh, 60 Hz, so 60 frames per second, full support of 3D. So there's, uh, you could play Doom on it, you can play all these things in it that you could port from OpenGL to WebGL, which is pretty sweet as well. And it's hardware accelerated, so this one is actually running on the video chip, running on the main processor, so it uses much more, much less memory that way. Um, yeah, the New York Times is get, again. We just have the website there. We just put a frame in there, link to the mobile New York Times, and out of a sudden, it's an app and an icon on your desktop.